How's everybody going? It's Cheech from Fly Fish Food. Um, as you can see, we have a really big fly, or a really big hook in the vise. Um, when I first got started fly tying, um, I would tie tons and tons of these really tiny midges for people. We've already showed you the bunny midge, um, so we'll put a link to the video on that somewhere. But this is to show you that you can tie a proportionate size 30 bunny midge. As you can see, this has a pretty big eye. It's this uh, Gamakatsu, let me see, C12BM um, hook. It's a really, really awesome midge hook. It's barbless and caught a, caught a bunch of fish on it. But anyway, um, that's probably my go-to hook for a size 30 anymore since TMCO stopped making the 518. Anyway. This, this fly involves very little materials, or very few materials, and uh, it's, a, it's a good way to make a proportionate size 30. So we'll just tear into it. Um, this is just regular 8-aught thread, and if you just use minimal wraps of this, it won't bulk up the fly too much. So I'm basically just going to get the thread started. Now I'm going to take some Vivas body quill in like a tan or a golden brown. This is BQ8 that I'm using. All right, and this is gonna create the shuck. So I'm gonna tie it in a little bit long, and I'm gonna pull it to length, and just wrap down the body, and then back up, and just let it sit right behind that eye. I used to put ribbing on these, but I don't anymore. We're gonna trim this about equal to the length of the body, or maybe it's a little bit shorter. So as you can see, it's just like a, a really tiny amount of fibers coming off of there. For the wing, instead of using snowshoe rabbit foot, which I used to use a lot, I've kind of switched it over to EP trigger point fiber. This is the quick silver color. Um, it's a really cool color. It's kind of a bunch of mottled gray. Okay, so to tie this uh, EP trigger point in, I'm just going to do a, a few maybe three snug wraps so that it's parallel to the hook point or to the hook shank. I'm going to grab the front section and I'm going to pull it toward me to now make it perpendicular and then take my thread and wrap it between the two so that I'm basically figure eighting this now. So as you can see I've got that figure eighted onto the hook and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take two wraps around the base of those wings. Only two, and that props those wings up just a little bit. So at this point, before I trim the wing, I'm going to whip finish the fly. Digging through Curtis's bag of crap. And we have this little TMCO midge whip finisher. It looks huge compared to this fly. So I'm just going to come in here and whip finish and the, the eye of this hook makes it really easy to whip finish and not crowd the eye. So I'll trim off my thread and then I just pull the wings straight up and I'll trim those roughly the length of the body. And there you go, a size 30 bunny midge super super effective and you can tie them in a ton of different colors oh yeah and don't forget to subscribe to our channel is that a stern enough warning for them yeah subscribe okay you got curtis mean <laughs> and hit the bell hit no the bell notifications on. what does that mean that means they'll get notifications when you put your lovely fingers on screen it'll send them a little message hey guys come and watch cheech he's tying another fly okay I agree with that message.